Okay, so let's do this Divine Masculine reading messages from DM to DF. This may or may not resonate. Okay, so very powerful energy is coming through. Okay, so these three cards are the major arcanas. Three, they're all major arcanas of the tarot. I'm using, I think it's called the Psychic Tarot, and then this is my cards as well. So lots of energy of confronting wounds and really looking deep within for this this group of collect masculines. Um, so I I feel like they're conf we have confront here. So what we have is a high priestess listen, the moon confront, and the emperor lead. They they see you as a high priestess as knowledgeable, wise, and very intuitive. And they see how you have divine feminines have really led, led the way for them to confront their issues here because we have confront and we have, I'm healing all core, all the core wounds. It goes deeper than I fathomed. That goes so much with this. And your light is so bright, it opens up my darkness and shadows to the point that I have to face it. And they're also tapping into their own intuition. Also, I get from this card that they're receiving vibrational energy, like more waves of pure, uh, high vibrational energies are coming into their field. And they may receive like ear ringing or um, downloads or thoughts, you know, whatever. Um that is assisting them to confront the shadows. Okay. This inner child healing connecting with the crown chakra with the purple. So let me continue. And we have lots of protective energies as well. The last thing I want to do is hurt you. I'm very careful about the energy I bring to you. I'm very protective of you. I, I want you to feel safe and loved. And then we have the emperor here leading. I, I want to speak my truth to you. And the emotions can be so intense that I cannot contain them. I try so hard to hold them in. But then, you know, it's like a volcano. It just bubbles up or something that bubbles up to the surface. And they have to, it's part of your spiritual journey is to face it. Facing the shadows, facing the darkness. So that it could be seen, seen, healed, like loved basically and released. And so their higher self is really guiding them to come forward with this huge letter or communication. This is like the scroll. This is like your sacred, sacred contract, sacred bond. Okay. I want to speak my truth to you wanting to come forward. They're really starting to, I feel like this group of masculine is starting to see now like what the feminines were talking about. Uh, <laughs> The emotions on the emotion side, it can be so intense, especially if you're holding, especially if they're holding it in, eventually it will surface. So they're realizing that there's, they're realizing a lot. I mean, this collective right here, to the fact that we have a high priestess are being called to listen, to confront, and then to go ahead and lead and move forward. So listen, go within, confront. Okay. And the moon, you know, um, that's emotions and inner what's hidden, what is hidden. And then from that forward, they, they can go forward, right? Go speaking from their heart and lots of protective energies. Okay. Lots of wanting to protect their divine feminine. And they're very careful about the energy that they're bringing forth. If they're going through this, um, these deep core wound healings, and maybe it's not even, a yeah, it's, it feels a little bit overwhelming. So they are protective of that, what they bring forward. Let's read what this says. Yes, I need you, my fairy tale, because you are the only person I can talk with about the shade of a cloud, about the song of the thought, and about how when I went out to work today and looked at a tall sunflower in the face, it smiled at me with all of its seeds. And there's the, the author. So this is exactly how the journey seems to be, or not seems to be, it is, um, feeling comfortable, like you're the only person, the Divine Feminine is the only person they can really open up and talk about, like their feelings and, and these things that they're experiencing that are very new, okay, 
very it can be very uncomfortable as well to face that. And so they feel like it's like I could talk about, you know, my experience in astral. I can talk about, you know, having these weird symptoms. I can talk about uh and even if it's not in the physical, it's telepathic, okay? Um it's through dreams and synchronicities that they're speaking to. So and I feel like with a sunflower, that message is like, you inspire me, Divine Feminine, with the light that you have here, your light being so bright, with all this light around this um, high priestess, that they're seeing the beauty and the, they're trying to slow down and see the beauty around them, the small things. Yeah, the small things that gives them little, just, you know, a beautiful day or like in this example, the sun, the sunflower. And so this is really powerful energy, and I just thought I'd share this. So this is a DM to DF message. All right. Bye.